Hi there, my name's Vince from MyMateVince.com and in this video today I want to show you what to do if you're having trouble getting your photos from your Apple iPhone onto your Windows 10 desktop. So this is the Windows 10 PC here and this is the Apple iPhone 6S. And the problem I've got is I've got loads of photos on here and I haven't updated it on the PC in a while, yet they're not coming through. So when I plug it in via USB, I'm only getting the option to download three four five it just varies so if you have a look here i'm going to press allow and then when i go on here and go to try again it's only going to come up with a handful of photos there you go yeah and yet i've got much more than that actually on here the problem is it's because on this they're saved to the iCloud and so the Windows 10 PC doesn't recognize it. So what I need to do is I need to take them from the iCloud back onto the phone again. So I'm going to go to settings and then I'm going to click on my name up here. And if you have a look here we've got an option under this screen that says iCloud. So tap that and then if you have a look under photos it says on. And you can see how much space is taken up in the iCloud photos there. So I'm just going to tap where it says photos. And now if you have a look here, it says optimize iPhone storage. If your iPhone is low on space, full resolution photos and videos are automatically replaced with smaller device size versions. Full resolution versions can be downloaded from iCloud at any time. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to download and keep originals. OK, and it says this iPhone is currently storing original photos and videos. Turn on optimized storage to save device space and keep originals in iCloud. So after I've downloaded them, I can always go back and put it back to optimize iPhone storage if you don't want to delete your photos. Now, if I go back into the photos, the bottom here, it says downloading. Look at that, downloading 275 originals. So I'm just going to let that do its thing for a while. Okay, so it's been downloading for about 20 minutes or so, and now if you have a look, let me go back into settings. So if we go into general, and then go to iPhone storage, you will now see this yellow section here is all the photos, yeah? So 1.8 gigabytes. So now if we go back into import here on the PC, and if we go from USB device and click on Apple iPhone, you will now see it's come up with 174 out of 177 items because I've already downloaded three of them earlier on. And if I go all the way down here, it will take me to August 2018, which was the last time that I actually downloaded. So I can just go to import selected and now bit by bit, they're gonna drop in onto here and I will have my photos on the actual PC. Afterwards, I can then choose what I want to do on here. I can delete them or I can press enable and then this will get smaller and then they will go onto the iCloud. So the other thing you can do is you can actually sign into the iCloud on your PC and then you can have a look at your photos on there as well. So if I was to go to Internet Explorer and just type up iCloud, you can use your username and password from your phone when you uh, sign into the iCloud on here. There we go, so I'm just gonna sign in. Okay, so I've just signed in there. And if you have a look here, you can click on photos and then it's gonna bring up all the photos that are currently on the iCloud. So you can scroll through all them. And then if you want, for example, if you want to uh, click this one, you've got an option over here to download selected item. And then you can download the photos that you want that way as well. But I find it easier just to put them on to the Photos app on the actual Windows 10. So if we go back to the Photos app now, they should all be downloaded and we will have the new photos on here. Now afterwards, because it's now done, I can go back to Enable. And now basically it will reduce the storage space on my phone. And then after a couple of minutes, you will see that the photo section now in the iPhone storage has gone right down. And instead of it being whatever it was, 1.8 gigabytes, we've now gone right the way down to 137 megabytes. But remember, when you take more photos and you want to put them onto your PC, you're going to have the same problem again. So, uh, yeah, that's uh, how you go around getting your photos onto your PC when you don't have enough space on your iPhone. So hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and please subscribe for more how-to videos. Take care. Bye now.